I am Hagar. I made fun of you because you could not make babies. I am Sarah. And the joke was on you because I did have a baby. And while you gave birth to Ishmael through the flesh, that is through natural means and by the sinful inclination of my human nature, I gave birth to Isaac. He is the child of promise and Abraham's true heir. Nope. Well, according to St. Paul, that means that you are an allegory of the covenant from Mount Sinai. You bear children for slavery. You must be crazy. I'm not crazy. It's scripture. You represent the present Jerusalem. You represent those who believe that works play a role in our salvation. You and those goofy Judaizers make yourselves slaves to the law. Well done. Not. Neither the law nor customs of mankind can save you. Wait. What? Are you serious? Quite. But me, I represent the promise. I represent the Jerusalem above. That is not just the saints triumphant, but all those who trust only the promise for salvation. Me and my heirs represent the freedom that comes through trusting in Christ's perfect life and sacrifice as the payment for our sins. I am not listening. Talk to the hand. Well, listen here, sister. My main man, the prophet Isaiah, said in support of me. Rejoice, O barren, she who does not give birth, break forth and cry aloud, she who has no labor pains, because many are the children of the deserted woman, more than the woman that is a husband. Well, at least I'm not dressed like Queen Elizabeth. Yes, that's true. That Pocahontas get up is much more reasonable. I just cannot win here. Can I? Hardly. But whoever made this movie, I believe his name is Ben Wickman, should win for his exegetical skill. He deserves an A+. At least.